Hello Trades, Hello Trades. And the title of the video is uh, Upper Level uh, Simple Technical Trading Tips and Tricks for Australia New Zealand Dollar Traders. All right, let's get started. I'm on the monthly chart looking at the Australian and New Zealand dollars called a super, talking about uh, upper level, a simple technical trading tips. All right, as I say to traders, one of the biggest trading mistakes is the violation of the market pattern. For traders who want to know about the six biggest trading mistakes, Go to www.dayprotrader.com and check out our webpage about the six biggest trading mistakes. But in fact, the biggest of the biggest trading mistake is the violation of the market pattern. So when traders start uh, adhering consistently to the market patterns, they are using what we call upper level simple technical trading tips and tricks and we have a market pattern here all right is the triangle okay you see the triangle here you see what's happening here people are selling the australian new zealand dollar anytime it touches the upper level of that orange triangle on my monthly chart okay you see that wouldn't it be nice to play that you know the professional love that you know that the professional love the consolidation pattern in fact, the origin of swing trading derived from this kind of pattern. You swing it up, you swing it down, you swing it up. When the price is consolidating either in a horizontal channel or a rising channel or a declining channel or a triangle. In fact, uh, the statistic uh, reveals that uh, channeling Trading strategy uh, are like uh, eighty percent accurate than any other trading strategy. So I'm wondering whether they were uh, they went to the pro trader to check uh, our six biggest trading mistake because channeling trading strategy is about the market pattern. Take it from me. If you have been banging your head all over the place, all right, in order to simplify your trading, that's simple. Use the channel. Right. And look, so if it's like this, right? if you form a higher high, and a higher high is followed by a higher low, that higher low on the edge of a rising channel is a higher probability to set up. But you know, people still lose sometimes because the price attack can break below it. Why they lose? Because they do not use the channel in trading strategy with a different time frame trading method. So you may say to me, George, I don't know anything about different type of trading method. You can just you two the friends mastering top down trading method by two four stock trader YouTube channel digit two digit four stock trader YouTube channel. There are five videos out there. And you can just slowly give yourself maybe two months to learn and master a top down trading method. In a rising channel, people are buying here. Don't sell in a rising channel. Though we can sell sometimes, but uh, that's not advisable. In a downtrend, the price, you see, is a financial instrument, okay, from a lower low. And a lower low is followed by a lower high. That lower high on the edge of a declining channel, that's a high probability trend in order to get paid, one must use different time frame trading methods. Whenever I say that, people say, Joe, you see that the same every day. Because it's too important. But then when it comes to the consolidation, people do not know what to do. People are using moving averages. And when the price is consolidating, they're still using moving averages. They forget that the moving averages are trending tools. So there are two types of consolidation, one in horizontal channel like this, and the next one is a triangle. So one is consolidation, so it touches here, it touches here, it touches here, three times. One, two, three. Right, you see now? The third time is always mine. 
and it touches the gain, the third time, one must use a top down trading room. The people will be selling at the top there, and they will be looking for an opportunity to buy here. But those that will get paid are those that are using a top down trading method, because the top down trading method allows traders to control the risk. When a signal fell, you close the trade. So this is what's going on here. So talking about upper level, simple, technical trading tips and tricks for Australian, New Zealand dollar traders. We have a market pattern. And that market pattern is not horizontal channel, it's not a rising channel, it's not a declining channel, it's a triangle. Can you see that people are selling all over the place? One more thing that I say to traders, when you are building a trading strategy, a trading method, a trading system, that trading method or trading strategy, all right, or that trading system must be based on a simple market principle. Can you see the red line here? That's the moving average 100. You see that? Moving average 100, the red one here. Moving average 100. You see, it's sloping down. It's sloping down. Though the price consolidating to me to, to is slope is uh, consolidating here, the, the way the moving of a hundred is sloping down is telling me that George, be careful when you are buying at the bottom here because the momentum is bearish. It's just a simple market principle. Moving of a hundred. When the price going down, it will be below the moving of a hundred. <laughs> Do you know that? Right. You see, it's going down, it will be below the moving of 100. But sometimes the moving of 100 will become horizontal. When it's horizontal, you know that there is a consolidation taking place. Am I speaking too much? Or, so how do you play this? Here is a consolidation place. But the problem that people are facing here, you see that it did below that triangle. What a price you know that? Below retest. So what's going to trade as mine now? Because it break below the triangle, they will like to have it retest the edge of the triangle. Believe it or not, you are not alone. A lot of traders are expecting that to retest it. To see whether after breaking below it, will it go back inside it? Or will it find a resistance on the edge of that only triangle? You see, so the price went down, blah, 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 blah. You see this candlestick kind of bar? It's a bullish candlestick kind of bar because though it closed bearishly, can you see that? You see, it closed bearishly. You open here, it closed here. But that that candlestick kind of bar is bullish. So it went up all the way inside the triangle before some people sold it down. Now look at the candlestick kind of bar that is following that. People are buying now because of that candlestick kind of bar. In order to handle that, we use a different type of trading method. I've been talking for, about this all the time and I will not dwell on it because I want this video to be very, very short. Under 10 minutes, oh, I can, hopefully I can do that. Okay, so, okay. so I'm going to the daily chart. So the daily chart is the signal time frame for the what? Monthly chart. So what the price has done after staying below that bearish trend line on the daily chart. It finally breaks the ball, deviate to retest the move of 100 on the chart, pull back to retest it. Uh, can I show you? After this trailer is broken, people are buying here now. It's a bit choppy. It's a bit choppy now. The reason why it's choppy is because it went outside the triangle. And uh, those that were playing the triangle before are a little bit cautious right now. But remember what I said to you before, the moving of a hundred that is sloping down on a monthly chart is telling that though it's consolidation, the bearish traders still have upper hand. So you need to be very, very careful at this junction. Go to the hour little frame. Do you see any bullish chart pattern? Monthly chart, daily chart. All right, hour return frame or daily chart, hour return frame, 10 minute time frame. Or the hour return frame, what do you see? The consolidation. Do you see consolidation? Touch it here, uh, touch it here, touch it there, 
And the third time he's married. You see, people are married here. <laughs> what are they bringing it? So, it's a consolidation play again. All right, hold on, please. It's a consolidation play again on the hourly time frame. So, some trading that are very new to us, you see, so it breaks the ball, the media line, retests it on the hourly time frame. They want to bring it here. Will it reach that level? So, as it's going up from here, the midpoint target is this one here. The ultimate target is there. It's a consolidation play. Until either it breaks the ball, that consolidation, then the display higher low or retest the top of it nicely in a normal condition or display higher low, then we become bullish. Or if we come back down again here and break below that our little frame trend line and retest it and a resistance. We resist a further resistance means that common center line is broken. Anytime I use that way, I say, how do I know it further resistance? You see here. When it reaches that level, you see, it touches the top of the constant. It finally reaches How do I know? Because the common center line is broken. All right. So this is just uh, a short tutorial about upper level, simple technical trading, tips and tricks for Australia New Zealand traders. All right. This video will be posted fast on Facebook because I don't know what's going on with my uh, 244 S Trader YouTube channel. Anytime I post video, I'm getting maybe 20 views. I'm not interested in 20 views. All right. Therefore, I posted a video on Facebook and I got a 240 something view on Facebook with my 4S video. So anytime I record a 4S video, I'll post it fast on Facebook before I post it on YouTube. Because uh, for me, if I spend time to record a video, I want to have more view. For that channel, uh, for a 244 Rest Trader YouTube channel, is a new channel, but I'm not new on YouTube. I'm a very experienced technical trader. But it looks to me, I'm now back in a queue, getting 20 views for a video. I'm not happy about that. But, all right, so 20 view doesn't make me get up to record video for that channel. So I'm posting it first on Facebook, and then I will post it later on YouTube. So if you are a subscriber to 244 Red Trader, you want to check what I'm doing on my Facebook page, stochastic macd right. If the video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let us know uh, by uh, okay, giving us your beautiful thumbs up. If you dislike it, mark it down. However, if you think it's an essential tutorial that can help other trade forex or uh, Australian New Zealand dollar trader out there, feel free to share with your friend on Google Plus, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. I really like traders that are sharing my video. And I say to those traders, a big a thank you. Also, if you are part of uh, any trading forum, try to mention the name 24 Forex Trade Up. That will help us to gain more subscribers, right? and I will really appreciate that. Okay. So this we conclude our discussion today about upper level simple technical trading tips and tricks for Australian New Zealand dollars a trade days. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is two four four S Trader. Subscribe today and be sure to click on the notification bell. So anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. Sometime I, I post video first, which I'll be doing for my foreign video of, of my, on my Facebook page. My Facebook page is stochastic macd Happy to to you all, and I will speak to you soon. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about upper level, simple technical trading tips and tricks for Australia, New Zealand dollars traders. Happy to to you all. And thank you for watching.